What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back, and I want to talk about the New York City subway system because there was probably a time when it was the easiest, fastest, and cheapest way to get around the city. I doubt it was ever the safest, but I also doubt it was ever as bad as it is today. It is a huge network of underground and elevated train lines that serve all five boroughs of New York City, even Staten Island, where the smelliest Walmart shopping Trump voters live. It opened all the way back in 1904 and is still one of the largest and busiest subway systems in the world. It has hundreds of stations and thousands of miles of tracks. It is quite obviously an engineering masterpiece. I mean, the entire city is full of engineering and architectural masterpieces, most of which are now, for some strange reason, a shell of what they once were. I'm not exactly sure how we went from men risking their lives to create landmark skyscrapers and bridges to basically being afraid of the air outside their front door. But that, of course, is a completely different story. What used to be a fairly reliable way to get where you needed to go in New York City is now not much more than a dilapidated, collapsing web of train tracks that basically house homeless people. And the stories are never ending. Man shoves woman on tracks, man slashed in the face, fare evasion, the list goes on. You never know what might happen in the subway system, but you can be sure that the fares will continue to rise as service and reliability continue to decline. So I want to revisit a couple of stories from recent years that clearly illustrate the demise of the subway system. And while it may not seem like much, when this system collapses, the city will undoubtedly follow as if it needed help, like it's not already being fast-tracked directly into the ground. March 15th, 2019, for third time, piece of debris plunges from elevated seven train tracks onto car below in Queens. So a piece of rusty metal fell from the elevated seven train track and hit a car in Queens causing damage, but luckily no injuries. This came after two similar incidents in which debris fell from the very same track. A city councilman named Jimmy Van Brammer expressed outrage and called for immediate action. Witnesses said they, ha they are now terrified of walking underneath the tracks due to the deteriorating conditions. The MTA claimed they were investigating the cause of the deterioration, but no progress has been reported. Also, a group of business owners and residents filed a lawsuit against the MTA demanding immediate repairs. Both of those stories will probably deserve a follow-up at a later date. From December 3rd, 2020, five charged for allegedly raking in thousands in MTA overtime fraud. Five MTA workers, including a train inspector and a subway maintenance supervisor, were charged with fraudulently, fraudulently claiming large amounts of overtime pay. The track inspector who, owned, who earned $461,000 in 2018 alone logged an incredible 3,864 overtime hours that year, averaging 10 hours of overtime every single day. The prosecutors have said that he was bowling during some of the claimed overtime hours. The subway maintenance supervisor, on the other hand, was allegedly posting photos from his family farm in New Jersey and going to concerts, out-of-state vacations, along with three other MTA employees from... February 28th, 2022, man smears poop on woman in New York City's subway station in sickening video. So on February 21st, around 5.15 p.m. in rush hour at the 241st Street station in the Bronx, a 43-year-old woman was sitting on a platform bench when a man approached her and without saying a word, smeared the contents of a unbranded black paper bag all over her face and the back of her head. Just three days later, another attack happened in Queens when a 57-year-old man reportedly assaulted a city health worker with a hammer, stole her bag, and left her with a fractured skull and brain bleeding. From July 26, 2022, the MTA is running out of its $15 billion Rona bailout. So more than two years into the hysteria, the commuter rail ridership was still well below pre-pandemic levels, and the MTA was, and I can almost be certain still is, facing financial challenges. It's clear there's never going to come a day where they say, wow, we are operating so smoothly and with great margins. It's just 
not going to happen. And as you can see, they want to blame this on the pandemic, even though there were quite clearly some other things going on at the agency. But anyhow, more than $15 billion in Rona relief funding was initially expected to help the agency balance its budgets through 2025. But the CFO, Kevin Willens, told the board that if revenue continues to drop, the funding will be depleted much quicker, leading to larger deficits, financial financial problems in 2024 rather than 2025. And officials say that the MTA may not reach pre-pandemic ridership levels until 2035 from June 13th, 2020, NYC strap hanger casually shoots up during a morning commute and disturbing video. So just before 10 a.m. on the 6th train in Manhattan, this guy was caught on video openly injecting drugs. He was seen tying off his arm with a blue rubber band before injecting an unknown substance directly into his vein. He then looks around the subway car with the syringe still in his arm. And here's a good post from End Wokeness by way of Common Ground Studios. They say, NYC subway in the past few weeks, 36-year-old man stabbed to death, pregnant woman slashed in the face, 50-year-old brutally beaten by gang, 54-year-old slashed in collarbone, 35-year-old woman paralyzed after being thrown onto tracks, 18-year-old pushed onto the tracks, 64-year-old man and 67-year-old woman brutalized and robbed, 29-year-old woman escapes the R word, man in coma after being slashed and thrown onto the tracks. So you can go ahead and fact check all of those, but it seems like par for the course. And this is obviously just the short list. You could quite literally spend all day reading stories about the subway poop ban, knife attacks, getting pushed onto the tracks, protesters clogging up the system, theft, assault, sky's the limit. But the point here is something or someone has spent the past few decades destroying the once great New York City subway system. So what happened? Leave it in the comments. Be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe.